Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as we have done with the modeling and texturing part till here, let's continue with the few of the things which is just left out with the texturing. So let's assign the same texture over here. That's your wooden texture over here. So let's go over here and let's give a UVW map. Same over here. Just select this and give a UVW map. Select this. Let's go into material and let's take a V-ray material over here. Go into this bitmap desktop coffee textures. So just assign this uh, textures over here. So we need to assign the same texture over here also so just go on assigning the same texture so same texture just go on give a, again a UVW map give it as a box the same texture over here Again go into this and give a UVW map. So you should give a individual UVW map. Box. So give a individual UVW map. Alright. So for this over here this is also the same texture and give a UVW map select this go into material let's take another V-ray material over here and let's go into this diffuse bitmap and let's take another texture we have another texture for it so assign this same texture so Let's assign this texture for all the same texture. Select this and assign it. Save your file and now for this you can just assign one more uh, V-ray material over here so you can just assign this texture over here so let's go into this and give a UVW map cylinder and just off the snap and rotate it so select this again just give a UVW map cylindrical and just rotate it now the things which are left out uh, this whole stuff so for that we are definitely going to give the same 
uh, metal texture which we have assigned for all so select this and assign the metal texture for this all and for the lights for the lights what we will be doing is we will not be totally assigning the whole metal let's go into the material take a V-ray material uh, let's give a diffuse over here black reflectivity will give a bit of reflectivity not much so I'll again go into this uh, Fresnel reflections you make this way and just assign this section that's it All right. so for the wires we can just assign a, a black color to it so let's go into material and we'll just assign a plain black color that's it all right so save your file over here and if you want to use any kind of a uh, light over here just to check it we can just use we can use any of the lights we we'll just check on light how it looks like so let's use this light over here so again I'll in reduce this intensity multiplier and photon emit radius I'll increase that and if you want the camera so let's go into rendering first render setup and let's set example as full HD and let's take a camera uh, V-Ray create V-Ray physical camera open bracket close bracket and press enter so I got one camera over here that's your V-Ray camera so let's take this V-Ray camera over here shift F so just push this up push it in this way let's uh, go to the camera view over here target you want to set a target you can just set a target over here you can push this over here off the target oops got crashed I think let's save the file again and it's a big problem for the Mac sometimes just keep on crashing although save the file no problem already have a camera let's go into this view over here make it as a local push this in this way push this up make sure you are getting the things in the frame the proper setup 
much better you can just check this it definitely will increase the intensity and all this stuff for the light so i'll just select this if i make the intensity is 1 and you can see now it's getting more brighter now so although we are not doing the lighting over here we are just doing the modeling and texturing part for this the things which are coming out from here you can just push it inside with the vertices oh okay. yeah let's go back to the perspective view so just push it inside to make it more shaded again Save your file. All right. So thanks for watching this tutorial.